at my job, we got this new guy, right? Cool kid and everything, whatever. He had asked me a question because I was in the middle of doing like a, a engine. I had to do an engine and transmission and a, uh, and a Chevy, like an Avalanche. And one other like the Suburban, basically. It, it is basically a Suburban Tahoe, whatever it is you want to come and call it, but five, three motor. So I had to do engine and transmission on that. And um, I used him for extra set of hands for like heavy lifting and stuff like that. So he had asked me during the job, he was like, uh, when did it at, at what age or when did you stop stripping stuff like as far as boats and nuts and all that shit go and you know i told him i said and be honest with you like it took a probably a while but i probably remember at least sometime all the way up and i'm 33 sometime all the way up until when i was getting closer to 25 and as i'm getting older then that's when you start just all that breaking stuff and stuff that you didn't have to break or mainly stripping boats is more so when I got to that certain age and then I worked in a shop that taught me, you know, that showed me how to, you know, rethread, how to rethread things, how to insert hilly coils, how to, you know, tap holes and I could rethread something if I wanted to, if the threads got messed up, if it came down to it. But at the end of the day, I learned how to fix that problem. So it took me a, a, a good minute. It took me a good minute up until age, you know, to, you're young. You're young. You're young. You're 18, 16, 17, 15. I don't know your age. You're 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You're still young. You're going to be experiencing stuff, a lot of stuff that you did not have to do. Don't think that because you did X, Y, and Z that you didn't done everything in the damn book. You're not even at 10% as far as... Uh, having achieved like a skill set or, or what it is you do in particular as far as fixing cars you're new ain't nobody gonna be taking you serious like that and i'm not like coming at your neck or nothing like that but that's just how it is when you young you should already expect that it ain't gonna be you young and you clutch money you when, when i say clutch money you you a gag you a beast you ain't here banging out jobs and you the go-to guy in the shop don't nobody want all of that you young you young, when I say you young, you're super young. And you, you gotta ride it out. Just ride out your 20s. But who wants to constantly keep breaking stuff? I mean, you keep breaking stuff, it just, it comes down on you. It's a comeback. Looks bad on the shop. Lost some money for the shop. And that puts you in the hot seat. And you get called in the office and you gotta have to talk with the manager. Whether you should keep the job or not, or you're going on probation, or... They're gonna make they're gonna make you pay for the next repair because some places do that if you keep messing up stuff or they just don't have it. They, don't have, they policy they just don't tolerate it. You just gotta pay for it from the rip. I've been to places like that, you know. They just take it out of your check. Man, take your time. Take your time. A lot of it comes with like finesse. You ain't got no finesse, and and you out here fixing cars all scary and all being a rookie about it or whatever. For sure, something's gonna happen. For sure, it's. Something's going to happen. What, what worked with, for me is yeah, repeat myself doing the same jobs all over again and just in and out. Each part that got to come off, each bolt, bracket, plastic clip, whatever, retaining clips, all of that. You need to learn how to focus on not breaking stuff. It's just, it comes to you. It's just you know, it's second nature. It literally comes to you. You get you get pissed off one day when just the job turned into a shit job because you made it into a shit job. The day you get tired of that, the day you stop stripping stuff and breaking stuff. I mean, stuff won't get broken. You can't ain't nothing you can do about nothing you can do about like no no brittle plastic or nothing like that. That's so it's gonna break. It's gonna happen. Some parts you take off, it's like a one time thing. You take it off, it's broke. It, it, it happens. That's different stuff. But we talking about you know you stripping studs or. Uh, you stripping wheel studs or you stripping bolts in an oil pan or, or you, you strip the threads out or you snap the bolt into the engine block and nothing had something like that before. My cousin did and I had to go into the block and drill it out and it was a pain in the ass but got it out. But I've been there and done that. It's a lot of things that I did and I don't have no regrets or nothing like that. Everything was stepping stone. Everything was a learned lesson basically. So, we met five minutes on it. Keep this video short. Looking at the timer, pretty much. Take your time, man. Take your time. You won't be the eyeball in the shop where everybody just come at your neck. 
I'm pretty sure you don't want to be that person. Everybody going to come in there and be having side conversations about you. They're going to be talking about you. Yeah, you just constantly effing up shit in there all day long. And this is going to get to the point where you ain't going to want to work there no more. You effing up shit in the shop, you're jeopardizing your own job. Follow instructions, pay attention, ask enough questions. Like, act like you want to do this. Don't be scary about it. Take a deep breath, walk away. Could be similar to going swimming. You don't know how to swim, you get in the water, you're scared. You learn how to swim, fear over. Same process. You don't know how to fix cars, you ain't good. Get under the hood, get better. Then next time around, you just great, you Gucci, you fixing cars and stuff. So, I'm going to go to repair. That's all I got to say. Anybody got any more questions like this? Anything I can be more, you know, rugged, more. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it in a hundred. I'm keeping it in the bean. You want me to be thorough about this shit? Hit me up in the inbox. Uh, Instagram, they got to repair. Or you could do my Gmail, they got to repair at gmail.com. Man, man we're going to get these questions now. I know people got a lot of shop questions. A lot of shop questions. There's a lot of shop questions that ain't never got answered. But we're going to be getting them done. We're going to be answering them. So I'm going to go to repair. Hit the like button, subscribe button. And I'll get it y'all in the next video.